early 2000s, when file sharing freeware like LimeWire and WinMX were a popular way to download free music, it was a widely accepted yet minor nuisance to download a mislabeled song. It just came with the territory of getting free music and was worth the alternative of paying 10 to 15 dollars for an entire CD of nine plus songs you didn't care to hear just to listen to one or two that you did want to hear. The cause of mislabeled songs ranges from the person sharing the file just guessing the track information to something a little more elaborate such as indie bands mislabeling their work as a popular musician to get unsuspecting listeners to unwittingly hear their songs. Free advertisement. Regardless of the intention, this practice of mislabeling songs didn't start at the beginnings of digital music, but rather, this practice can be traced all the way back to at least the 1970s. One early example that still remains a mystery is Marsha G's Peanut Duck, a novelty song about a fad dance. Think the locomotion, the twist, do the Bartman, do the mashed potato. You get the idea. The disco duck, yes. In Peanut Duck's defense, it's carefree, catchy, fun. And just the fact that you can hear Marsha G smiling and laughing adds much charm to this little tune. But there's points where Marsha G is out of key, straining, or straight up unintelligible. Oh, yeah. oh, everybody's doing a peanut duck. Mm. And shit goes right off the rails around the two minute mark. <laughs> get the idea. There's a lot of opinions that can be thrown around about this harmless song, but one thing that makes it truly unique is that Marsha G actually isn't the singer. This song floated around on bootlegs for several years, but in 2005, Rhino Entertainment Company released the box set Girl Group Sounds, which included Peanut Duck and these liner notes. At Virtue Sound Studio in Philadelphia, a mystery girl singer cut Peanut Duck, a feverish soul stomper that trailed the locomotion, mashed potato, twist trend. But the track was never released and Marsha G was not the actual singer. The only proof of Peanut Duck lay in an acetate discovered by a British Northern Soul DJ who took the disc back to England and released it as a bootleg on Joker Records in the 80s. Not wanting his rival DJs to infringe upon his precious find, he christened the unknown singer Marsha G, who incidentally had a single out on Uptown Records in 1965. The true voice behind Peanut Duck has yet to be revealed. Anyone? Aside from it being recorded at Virtue Sound Studio, nothing else is really known about the origins of this song. Who was this singer? The real Marsha G, whose aforementioned single was Baby I Need You, clearly has a different voice than the one heard in Peanut Duck. Flap your arms like a duck. Oh, baby, I need you. Did this mysterious singer also write the song? How long had it been shelved before said British Northern Soul DJ found it? If we ever find out, Peanut Duck could become one of the oldest cold cases of mysterious songs. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, 